Houdini fly is a mess. We reached out to Dr. Katie Buckley in Washington State. She's reached out to Oregon, to BC. It's spreading. Uh, we're trying to now do something about it. So we got the attention of the USDA and they had something that worked on the spotted wing Drosophila. It's a cousin to this other fruit, fruit fly, the Houdini fly. And they sent us um, this really stinky compound and then talked us through an experiment. So here's our experiment. Okay, Kelly, so this is gonna be the experiment for Houdini fly. Tell us what we're doing. We are in the Pacific Northwest, and unfortunately there are areas here that have Houdini fly. So we've been really lucky that five of them have been willing to work with us, and we're gonna send them some bee houses and reeds, and the test is pretty simple. On one house, we just have the setup, and it doesn't smell, and we're hoping at the end of the season when we look at the materials, we'll get some more information. The second house is going to have um, an odorant that smells, oh, it does that smell. And we're hoping that that will push away the Houdini fly without pushing away our mason bees. We do want our mason bees to nest. So we're right now just shipping out these uh, various houses with bees to our five participants. And we're thankful that they're going to let nature take its course in their yard and then let us take the nesting materials to see the results. And the want is um, the normal side of the yard has both flies and bees going in it, so this works. The other side of the yard doesn't only have mason bees and no fly. So there's our want. We'll see what happens in a few months.